Hey, Central Family, Pastor Clay here, just with a devotional thought for you today. Um, if you're anything like me, there have been any number of days recently when you've awakened and thought, how much longer can I keep doing this? How much longer is it possible to keep going, whether it's thinking about this pandemic or being sheltered at home, or how much longer are we able to do this learning at home thing? Because, ooh, it's challenging. Or maybe it's not that. Maybe it's how much longer can I keep going with this relational tension I have with my friend or family member? Or how much longer can I keep going in my work? There's any number of challenges that we're facing in our world and in our lives right now. And there's a Bible passage that helps me when I begin to think about those things and wonder how long, O oh Lord. And it comes from 1 Peter chapter 1. And it begins in verse Three, I want to read these verses to you. It's Peter says, According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you. Now, I love how Peter puts that. He says we have this inheritance that, that God has for us that is imperishable. That means it's permanent. It's never going to spoil. Nothing and no one can ever take it away. It's always going to be there, and it's undefiled. That means it, it's not touched by sin in any way. It's pure and perfect goodness in the hand of God, pure and perfect blessing for us, an inheritance for us, and it's unfading. It's never going to lose its luster. It's never going to cease amazing us. That's incredible. That inheritance is kept in heaven for you. Now, who's the one in heaven keeping that for you? It, it's God. What this verse tells us is that God himself is on guard, watching over the blessings that he has planned for you. The blessings and the benefits that you will require from now into a new heavens and a new earth, all the inheritance that he has won for you in Christ, God is the guarantor of your inheritance. Now that, that's incredible. It's never at risk. And so when you begin to wonder, I don't know how much longer I can hang on, remember, the Lord's the one who's hanging on to the blessings, your inheritance for you. But that's not where it stops. He says he's he's has this inheritance kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed at the last time. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you've been grieved by various trials. Now, I, I love what Peter says here. He says that this inheritance is kept in heaven for you, you who by God's power are being guarded. You hear how God is at work on both ends? He's keeping your inheritance safe for you, and he's guarding you so that even though you suffer right now, even though you struggle, you will be ready to receive your inheritance in the last day. Now, that helps me when I'm struggling to figure out how am I going to hang on? How am I going to keep going? Just remember, God's got this. He has an unbreakable hold on your life. He has prepared a blessing for you, and he's keeping it safe, and he has prepared you for that blessing, and he's guarding you. He's doing both. So when you feel like, I don't know if I can hang on, Lord. I don't know how much longer I can keep going. Remember, your inheritance doesn't depend upon how strong you are. It depends on how tight the grip your heavenly Father has on you and on the blessings he's planned for you from now into eternity. So keep going because God's got you in the palm of his hand. You are his blood-bought child. Hope that encourages you today. Let's pray. Father, we pray that you would help us to remember that you've got us in the palm of your hands. We are the apple of your eye. You've prepared an inheritance for us that is never at risk. And you are guarding us so that in the last day we will receive that inheritance. Give us that hope to live today for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day, friends.